there are a few number of tests on soil in heavy engineering and these are listed below so the first one is direct shear stress second one is triaxial compression test third one is unconfined compression test fourth one is cbr test or called the california bearing ratio test the fifth one is plate bearing test but in heavy engineering the most important two tests are the cbr test and plate bearing test which are given in our syllabus of heavy engineering so we are going to cover these two in heavy engineering but we are going to cover all of these tests in soil mechanics so first let's talk about cbr test and cbr stands for california bearing ratio test the aim of california bearing ratio test is to calculate the strength of the subgrade soil of flexible pavements or this test can be used for other pavement materials also but our main focus is on soil so we are going to use this test on soil this test has been standardized by bureau of indian standards and it is an empirical method so you doing it in laboratory you have to must be taken care of all the procedure that is required for this test you can clearly see that there is a pedestal of this testing machine above which there is a base plate and above which there is a mold and inside the mold our soil is filled up to 127 mm when our soil is filled and compacted a surcharge weight is kept on the soil and the surcharge weight has a hole and uh, above surcharge there is a plunger cylindrical plunger of 50 mm dia on the left of the plunger there is a dial gauge to measure the penetration and uh, above the plunger there is a probing ring so we are clear about the apparatus now about the procedure of this test so in this test a 50 mm diameter plunger is penetrated into the soil specimen at a rate of 1.25 mm per minute as we are increasing the load the plunger is continuously going down and we have to measure the penetration values for that particular load value on further increasing of load we need to find out the load values at 2.5 mm penetration and 5 mm penetration this sentence means that you need to find out the load that how much load is required for a penetration of 2.5 mm and 5 mm into the soil specimen after finding out that load value there is a formula for finding out the cbr value CBR values find out by load or pressure at 2.5 mm or 5 mm divided by standard. Now I have used this term standard load and also I use this 100. So from this 100 you, you are clear that CBR value is always find out in percentage and the standard load means that from years of experience some standard load values have been defined for 5 mm and 2.5 mm load values and these load values are of standard crushed stone aggregates first of all let's take a look at cbr value cbr value is the load or pressure at 2.5 mm or 5 mm that we recorded for that particular specimen divided by the standard load or pressure at same penetration either you can take the load values for that specimen or you can take the pressure values for the specimen at 2.5 mm or 5 mm values similarly at the same penetration level you have to take the standard load or pressure if you're taking pressure above then you have to take the pressure below into 100 the cbr values are always find out in percentages all right so the standard values are for 2.5 mm it is 1370 kg and for 5 mm it is 2055 kg and standard pressure values are find out by dividing the standard load values from the area of plunger and so you can find out the pressure by dividing 1370 by pi r is 2.5 mm so it will give you 70 kg per centimeter square okay so now we have known how to find out the cbr value and the cbr values will be always in percentage and the penetration values are measured at intervals of 0.5 so 0.5 and then 1 and then 1.5 and then up to 12.5 mm now after finding out the penetration values we have to plot a graph between the load and the penetration values so if we plot a graph we get two type of curves if you're getting this type of curve with its convexity upper then your recorded values are correct and there is no correction required in this curve and you can find out the load values at 2.5 or 5 mm so 2.5 will lie almost uh, here 
where this line will intersect y axis this will be the load value for 2.5 mm penetration similarly if we draw a line from x axis at 5 mm from this curve if we draw a line towards y axis and where it intersects will give you the load value for 5 mm penetration okay this was the first type of curve if you're getting the second type of curve with its concavity upwards and then this concavity is turning into convexity and after this concavity the graph looks same as the previous curve we don't require this concave area as it will affect our results because it can happen due to the slushiness of the soil at the surface or our soil is not evenly spread or uneven at the surface or our plunger is slightly tilted when it was penetrating into the soil so there can be three cases that why we get this curve so to correct this curve we have to draw a tangent from the steepest point so the steepest point will be the point where the convexity upward curve will be starting and it's intersecting with the x-axis at this point and this point will be the origin for this curve whereas for the our previous curve the origin was at zero and now for this curve our origin as just before the second division all right and this will be the origin and after that you have to find out the 2.5 mm penetration values and 5 mm penetration values so you can add 2.5 in this value uh, adding 2.5 will uh, give you the values around here and 5 mm will be around here and the test results say that the CBR value at 2.5 mm penetration value is higher than 5 mm penetration values if in your case it's not correct that you if you are getting the cbr value at 5 mm penetration higher than 2.5 mm penetration then you have to repeat the test and check for the results again if you had done any mistake check again again if you're getting the cbr value of 5 mm penetration higher than 2.5 mm penetration value then only you can choose the 5 mm penetration value otherwise at for the first time you have to repeat the test and recheck the results if you have taken a number of specimens for the cbr test then you can you can take the average of their cbr values and materials passing 20 mm sieve is only used in the test after knowing about the cbr test let's do a question on it so this question says that the load penetration value of cbr test conducted on two soil specimen of particular soil are given below and uh, you have to determine the CBR value of the soil if 100 divisions of the load dial represents 190 kg of soil in calibration chart of the probing ring. Uh, what is, so what is the role of probing ring? Probing ring shows the load that we are applying on the plunger. So we have given a table on our the main values are at 2.5 mm and 5 mm. Okay, for specimen 1, the number of divisions are 34 and for specimen 2, the number of divisions are 13 and for specimen now we need to find out the CBR values for both the specimen. We have given that 100 divisions are equal to 190 kg. So one division will be equal to 19 by 10 kg, specimen 1 and here for specimen 2. For specimen 1, the value of load will be 34 into 19 by 10. It will give you around 62.7 kg. Okay. And for specimen 2nd, it will be around 48 into 19 by 10. Now, what is the formula for CBR percentage? So, the formula was load or pressure at 2.5 or 5 mm divided by standard load or pressure at the same penetration into 100. So, the load we have found out the load is 62.7 kg and 62.7 divided by load at 2.5 mm. The load at 2.5 mm penetration value is 62.7 kg divided by standard load at 2.5 mm, it's 1370 into 100 it's not for specimen 2 it's for 5 mm specimen 1 okay i'm sorry i have written specimen 2 here it's a uh, load at 2.5 mm divided by standard load at 2.5 mm into 100 it will give you around 4.6 percent whereas for 5 mm uh, it's 48 into 19 divided by 100 uh, it's the load divided by and it will give you 4.4 percent Similarly, you can find out the values at two uh, severe values at 2.5 mm and 5 mm for specimen 2. Alright, so this was all about severe test.